I'm an exoplanet orbiting the star Caro 7 you see In the constellation of Monoceros My name is Caro 7B I was first detected photometrically in 2009 by the French-led Kuro mission in the month of February I refined. I was discovered by a French astrophysicist named Daniel Rowan, working as the director of research emeritus at the CNR. I used to be the smallest exoplanet until the discovery of the exoplanet that was given the name Kepler's 37b. I do orbit in a binary star system called Caro 7 here. Caro 7a is the G type main sequence star. I'm an exoplanet orbiting the star, Caro 7 you see. In the constellation of Monoceros, my name is Caro 7b. When you travel 489 light years from the Earth to the constellation of Monoceros, you'll find Caro 7b. star like yours at home let's see where am i i'm 1400 two light years away from the solar system your earth does play i was discovered by the kepler space telescope on july 23rd 2015 by nasa with hope though a study in 2018 by fergal malali i have not been proven to exist statistically but if i do exist i would be potentially the first rocky super earth 
planet you will see If life did exist on me It would be because Of my orbit around my sun like star That would be the cause I orbit in a place called the Goldilocks Zone That's a habitable zone Of sun like stars I do roam My name is Kepler 452b Also known as Earth 2.0 yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun like star like yours at home. I have a probable mass five times that of the Earth, though that's a rough estimate from astronomers, of course. I probably have many active volcanoes due to my higher mass and density compared to the Earth you call home. I have an orbit of 385 days, which is 20 more days than your Earth's year, I can say. The star that I orbit is called Kepler 452. It's the Earth like star that I orbit, this is true. Maybe someday you can visit me and make history, but for now I'm known as a rocky super Earth, that's what I be. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun like star like yours at home. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun like star like yours at home. I-56-1B, one, one of the oldest rocky planets discovered, you'll see. T-O-I-56-1B, I am an exoplanet in the Milky Way galaxy. T-O-I-56-1B, also known as Super Earth, soon you'll also agree. I am T-O-I-56-1B. My surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity. TOI-561b was discovered in the year of 2020 by the Transmitting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. Also known as TESS, it sees things way out of sight. TOI-561b was discovered in the Milky Way galaxy an estimated age of 13 billion years the milky way galaxy is super old i do agree my estimated age is 10 billion years that makes me one of the oldest rocky planets discovered with cheer i am around 280 light years away i'm a third bigger than the earth i do convey I get close when I orbit my G-type star It takes me 10.5 hours to orbit once because I'm not too far My mass is 1.59 of the Earth's That's one of the reasons I'm so unique For what that's worth Lauren Wise's team is researching me She's the team leader at the University of Hawaii it's unlikely any life can survive on me With a surface temperature of 3630 degrees That's roughly twice as hot as molten lava on Earth In Fahrenheit since my discovery and my birth I'm tidally locked to my G-type star in motion I have a permanent day side that's likely home to a magma ocean I am TOI-561b One of the oldest rocky planets discovered you'll see TOI-561b I am an exoplanet in the Milky Way galaxy TOI 561b, also known as Super Earth, soon you'll also agree. I am TOI 561b, my surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity. We 
are the earth and the moon and you will learn really soon you can fit the planets in our solar system between us this is true we are the earth and the moon we meant to tell you for a while the average distance between us we will explain to you with a smile the average distance between the earth and the moon is 382,500 kilometers here's the other seven planets fit between us explaining who they are with some cool features I am Mercury, the first planet from the sun I'm the second hottest planet on my run My average diameter we do know is 4,879 kilometers Add these up as they are shown I am Venus, the hottest planet And the second from the sun I have an average diameter of 12,104 kilometers in the solar system. Hi, I am Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. You should know. I have an average diameter of 6,771 kilometers as I did show. My name is Jupiter, the largest planet in from the sun. I'm number average diameter is 139,822 kilometers as I thrive. I'm the planet with the prominent rings, the sixth one called Saturn. My average diameter is 116,464 kilometers while I turn. I am Uranus. I am the seventh planet from the solar system's sun. I have an average diameter of 50,724 kilometers. I'm a frozen one. I am Neptune, the eighth and last planet in the solar system, as far as we know. I have an average diameter of 49,244 kilometers, I'm blue as shown. Our total planet diameter size when added up is 380,008 kilometers we share. We still have 2,492 kilometers of space to spare. We are the Earth and the Moon, and you will learn really it's in our solar system between us this is true we are the earth and the moon we meant to tell you for a while the average distance between us we will explain to you with a smile Designations 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin. Now let's begin. An extreme trans Neptunian object in a sedoid in the outer solar system is what I am. I can't avoid. I was nicknamed the Goblin because of the TG in my name and because I was discovered near Halloween in 2015. October 2015 was when I was discovered by astronomers at the MKO is how I was uncovered. My discovery was made by Chad Trujillo, David Tholin, and Scott Shepard, you know. I was discovered using the Subaru telescope. They also probed with the Blanco 4M telescope looking out from the globe. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua 
is my official name. I have trouble saying it too. I never come within 80 astronomical units to the sun, and I get as far as 2300 AU from the sun on my run. You think a year on Earth is long? Well, mine is longer. I admit, 35,760 is one year in my orbit. I have a very elongated orbit, along with Sedna on my trek. Astronomers believe this orbit exists because of hypothetical planet X. I never come near the major outer planets. Astronomers have checked 541,132. Lalia Kuanua, that's my name, it is true. My provisional designation's 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin, now let's begin. There's probably 10,000 small dwarf-like planets in our outer solar system beyond Pluto. Now, isn't that fun? These dwarf-like planets are very small. That makes them hard to uncover. With technology improving, you could be the one to discover. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua, that's my name, it is true. My provisional designation's 2015 TG3. I'm nicknamed the Goblin, now let's begin! My name is J1407B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star and we can all agree Its name is V1400 Centauri In 2012 when I was discovered by Eric Mamajek At the University of Rochester I earned the name of Super Saturn Because of my massive system of circumplanetary rings for sure 90 million kilometers is the radius of my rings That's about 200 times the size of Saturn's rings Which makes me the king When I orbit my sun it takes about a decade Which is estimated at about 3,725 days I'm within the constellation of Centaurus It's about 434 light years from the Earth But I don't fuss No one knows if I'm a gas giant Or a brown dwarf with rings I'm sure you'll find out more about me While I do my thing There's a gap in my rings Which probably means one thing It may have been made by an exomoon of mine About this I do sing I also have a Another name when I show you, you will see it is 1S Wasp J147B. My name is J1407B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star, and we can all agree its name is V1400 Centauri. My name is J1407. B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star, and we can all agree its name is V1400 Centauri. A Maki Maki, I have an official new move. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. In the month of April in 2015 is when I was noticed by Hubble's Whitefield Camera 3. The Southwest Research Institute, led by Mark Boo, we are the first scientists in the world to ever notice. I'm very hard to see because I'm in the Kuiper Belt And my charcoal colored surface certainly doesn't help As 20, 15, 13, 64, 72, 1 is what I was provisionally designated But not much fun They officially nicknamed me with the name MK2 I'll tell you more about me after the chorus you'll hear is through I'm my 
artificial new moon Let me introduce MK2 To all the world and you Hello, I'm MK2 A satellite of Maki Maki I was noticed one year ago Now an official moon I be It's estimated my diameter's 100 miles across That's an estimate only from a bunch of astronomers I'm 1300 times more faint than dwarf Maki Maki When a telescope gets closer they will see me more clearly I'm 13,000 miles from my door planet so bright And I'm called a moon because I'm a natural satellite Maki Maki had what scientists thought were dark warm spots Now they think it was me making those warm dots I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B Discovered in 1995 at Oak Province Observatory I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B I am formally named Dimidium Yeah, that is me I was the first exoplanet orbiting A main sequence star 51 Pegasi is my star's name I know it sounds bizarre I'm the prototype for a class of planets called Hot Jupiters I'm 1850 degrees Fahrenheit Measured by astronomers I was first discovered In the year of 1995 At the Hope Province Observatory With their eye tip towards the sky The astronomers who discovered me I will tell you in this song They are Michelle Mayer And Didier Quillos They are headstrong My discovery had won these men A Nobel Prize in Physics There was nothing to be said about them By their critics My Jupiter mass is a round point four six. That's my unit of mass equal to the total mass of Jupiter, the planet. I'm located 50 light years from the constellation Pegasus. You need a very large telescope to see me. This you can trust. In 2015, the IAU announced my chosen name without a laugh. They named me Dimidium, which is an adverb meaning by half. Dimidium is my name because my mass is almost half of Jupiter's. Since my discovery, lots of exoplanets have been discovered. I am much closer to my star than Mercury is to your sun. That is why I'm so hot. Yeah. Well, I am spun. My orbital speed is in miles per hour, 304,000. Now that's a lot of great power. I am thought to be tidally locked to my host star. Much 
like the moon is to your earth, but not as far. I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B, discovered in 1995 at Oak Province Observatory. I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B. I am formally named Dimidium. Yeah, that is me. Here's a theory of how the Earth was formed, so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. Almost five billion years ago, there was only our sun, which was a newborn star surrounded by dust was how it begun. Over time, this dust began to slam into one another due to gravity pulling it in as it smashed into each other. The planet that we live on was made by space dust and rocks that formed Earth over millions of years into an orb, not a box. They say four and a half billion years ago, Earth was a fireball. That's right, with surface temperatures over 2,000 degrees and Fahrenheit. At this point, there was no air, just carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water vapor, making it hot and toxic when the Earth began. Our boiling ball of liquid rock was slammed by a young this planet's name was Thea, it was the size of Mars as you see it. The blast wave from this collision sent trillions of tons of debris, which over time was pulled back in to circle the Earth by gravity. This giant ring around the Earth was made of red hot dust and rock, eventually formed our moon we see today, I know it's a shock. Let's speed up millions of years to see how water formed. About 3.9 billion years ago, Earth was hit by a meteor storm. Inside each meteor, scientists think there were small crystals. Each crystal held tiny droplets of water inside their shells. Over the 20 million years that these meteors fell, pools of water started to form on the cooling crust. I do tell, no water on our earth is billions of years old now you see, and may have traveled millions of miles to be consumed by you and me. Let's speed up hundreds of millions of years to find the Earth covered in water with tiny islands peeking out while the core remained much hotter. This hot core pushes molten rock up and out the Earth's new crust. When the lava cools, it forms the land we know as it builds and thrusts. Over time, these land masses start to collide and eventually form our continents we know today do still transform. Here's a theory of how the Earth was formed, so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. How did Earth get its atmosphere we have today? There are three basic atmospheric hypotheses still used to this day. The first atmosphere was made up of hydrogen and helium gas. These molecules move so fast they escape Earth's gravity into space at last. The second was made of lots of volcanoes releasing water as steam and carbon dioxide, hydrogen, sulfate, ammonia, and methane science agreed. The third and current atmosphere is made up of this. You will see plants take in carbon dioxide and give up oxygen to you and me. All animals take in oxygen and give up CO2. Also volcanoes and burning stuff produces this like fossil fuel. We burn too many fossil fuels and have too many factory farms. All this carbon dioxide we produce is doing our Earth harm. It's up to us to change the way we consume and create energy. If you start to make changes now, our planet will change, you will see. Please do your part to save the Earth to improve your future now. We're capable of change, go make us all proud. Here's a theory of how the Earth was formed so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. You're so smart and important, so believe in what you can do. Make a change and set the stage in Earth's future for you. My name is 55 Cancrete, also known as Jansen. I'm a super Earth, you see. I'm an exoplanet in the orbit of my host star named Copernicus. Here's what they know about me this far. I was discovered in the month of August on the 30th day in the year 
my surface. I was discovered by a female astronomer. She goes by the name of Barbara MacArthur. The detection method used by astronomers to find me is a method called radial velocity. My host star Copernicus from 55 Pancrea is from Earth, a 40 light year trip away. My host star is a G type star similar to your sun. You know I'm 0.01544 AU from my star's glow. My name is 55 Cancrea, also known as Jansen. I'm a super Earth, you see. I'm an exoplanet in the orbit of my host star named Copernicus. Here's what they know about me this far. My mass is about 8.08 that of the Earth. I take 0.7 days to complete one orbit of my star for what that's worth. I belong to the constellation called Cancer. Here is an example of what it looks like. Of this I am sure. In 2016, in the month of February, NASA's Hubble telescope detected two gases on me. Those gases were hydrogen and helium with hints of hydrogen cyanide while it was on its run. I am tidally locked just like your moon. That means I have a dark side. You won't see it too soon. Silicates in my atmosphere would condense into clouds on my tidally locked dark side. I commence reflecting the lava from below so there would be a sparkle in my dark skies that don't show my day side temperatures average about 4200 degrees that is in fahrenheit if you please there are more planets orbiting my host star we will visit those soon keep it on your radar my name is 55 cancree also known as jansen i'm a super earth you see i'm an exoplanet in the orbit of my host star named copernicus here's what they know about me this far we're alpha centauri the closest star system to the solar system your earth is from alpha centauri is a triple star system we're 4.37 light years away from your sun we're alpha centauri a and alpha centauri b which forms a pair of stars called binary alpha centauri a officially rigel Centaurus. alpha centauri Centauri B, officially Toliman, I trust. Centauri C, officially Proxima Centauri. Here we'll learn about our size and our luminosity. Alpha Centauri A and B are sun-like stars. We're the brightest stars in the constellation Centaurus by far. Alpha Centauri A has 1.1 times the mass and 1.5 times the luminosity of the sun in this class. Alpha Centauri Centauri B is smaller and cooler, you should know. At 0.9 times the sun's mass and 0.4 the luminosity shown. We orbit around a common center or around one another so you'd understand better. With an orbital period of almost 80 years by far. And from a distance we're so close we look like one star. I'm Proxima Centauri, a small and faint red dwarf star. You cannot see me with the naked I though I'm the closest star by far I'm about 4.24 light years from the earth and I'm the closest star to the Sun for what that is worth discovered in 1915 by astronomer Robert Eins I'm sure in South Africa at the Union Observatory in Johannesburg my Latin name Proxima Centauri means when this is defined the nearest star of Centaurus that's all that's assigned we're Alpha Centauri the closest star system to the solar system your earth is from alpha centauri is a triple star system we're 4.37 light years away from your sun we're alpha centauri a and alpha centauri b which forms a pair of stars called binary alpha centauri a officially rigel Centaurus. alpha centauri b officially toliman i trust centauri c officially proxima centauri here we'll learn about our size and our luminosity
I am an exoplanet. My name is Kepler 1649C. I orbit a red dwarf, Kepler 1649. You now see exoplanets orbit outside your solar system. That's where I hide. I am similar to Earth. I'm spun. Find out more when this song is done. I was discovered in April 2020, the year by the Kepler Space Telescope. And so we are clear. Jeff Kopp Lynn. Of S E T I said I'm similar to planet Earth found so far by the space telescope Kepler at large of about 300 light years from your Earth in the constellation of Cygnus for what that's worth I'm identified as a rocky planet by NASA my radius is 1.6 times that of Earth I know that you're in awe I take 19.5 Earth days to orbit my host star. Kepler 1649 is its name. The red dwarf in charge. I am in the habitable zone of my red dwarf star so far. This is known Due to the lack of information on my atmosphere It is unclear If I can sustain liquid water On my surface around my sphere I am an exoplanet My name is Kepler 1649C I orbit a red dwarf Kepler 1649 You now see Exoplanets orbit outside Your solar system That's where I hide I am similar to Earth I'm spun Find out more when this song is done I am an exoplanet My name is Kepler 1649C I orbit a red dwarf, Kepler 1649. You now see exoplanets orbit outside your solar system. That's where I hide. I am similar to Earth. I'm spun. Find out more when the song is done. My name is TOI700D, an exoplanet outside the solar system I be. My name is TOI700D, 101.4 light years away from Earth, let's learn about me. I was discovered in January, in the year of 2020, by Emily Gilbert, while well, studying astronomy I'm an exoplanet 101.4 light years away from Earth in the Dorado constellation that's where I play I'm the first Earth sized planet orbiting my host star TOI 700 a red dwarf we know this so far I orbit my star in its habitable zone maybe there's a presence of liquid water on my surface shown 
My star is 40% the mass of your sun And 55% of its temperature These facts are so fun I'm one of three exoplanets detected by TESS To be orbiting the host star TOI 700 We don't rest Our names are TOI 700 B and C And TOI 700 D You guessed it, that is me All three exoplanets may be tidally locked I do sing Which means the same faces towards the object we are orbiting. I was discovered by test to see planets out of sight called the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. Tess was designed and launched specifically to find Earth-sized planets orbiting nearby stars like me. Scientists confirmed the find called TOI 700D with NASA Spitzer Space Telescope independently. TOI is short for Transiting Exoplanet Survey. Satellite object of interest, it's so long to say. NASA's on the hunt for more Earth-sized planets, but for now you have me, I'm sure there's more more to find yet. You could become an astronomer, a job that's out of this world. You can be anything you want, whether you're a boy or a girl. My name is TOI 700 D, an exoplanet outside the solar system I be. My name is TOI 700 101.4 light years away from Earth, let's learn about me. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun like star like yours at home. Let's see. Where am I? I'm 1,402 light years away from the solar system your Earth does play. I was discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope on July 23rd, 2015 by NASA with hope. Though a study in 2018 by Fergal Mullally, I have not been proven to exist statistically. But if I do exist, I would be potentially the first rocky super Earth planet you will see. If life did exist on me, it would be because of my orbit around my sun-like star. That would be the cause. I orbit in a place called the Goldilocks Zone. That's a habitable zone of sun-like stars I do roam. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun-like star like yours at home. I have a probable mass five times that of the Earth. Though that's a rough estimate from astronomers, of course. I probably have many active volcanoes due to my higher mass and density compared to the Earth you call home. I have an orbit of 385 days, which is 20 more days than your Earth's year, I can say. The star that I orbit is called Kepler 452. It's the Earth-like star that I orbit, this is true. Maybe someday you can visit me and make history, but for now I'm known as a rocky super earth, that's what I be. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0, yeah that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun-like star like yours at home. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun-like star like yours at home. I am TOI 561B, one of the oldest rocky planets discovered you'll see. TOI 1B, also known as Super Earth, soon you'll also agree. I am TOI 561B. My surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity. TOI 561B was.
was discovered in the year of 2020 by the Transmitting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, also known as TESS. It sees things way out of sight. TOI 561b was discovered in the Milky Way galaxy with an estimated age of 13 billion years. The Milky Way galaxy is super old, I do agree. My estimated age is 10 billion years. That makes me one of the oldest rocky planets discovered with cheer. I am around 280 light years away. I'm a third bigger than the Earth, I do convey. I get close when I orbit my G-type star. It takes me 10.5 hours to orbit once because I'm not too far. My mass is 1.59 of the Earth's. That's one of the reasons I'm so unique for what that's worth. Lauren Wise's team is researching me. She's the team leader at the University of Hawaii. It's unlikely any life can survive on me with a surface temperature of 3630 degrees. That's roughly twice as hot as molten lava on Earth in Fahrenheit since my discovery and my birth. I'm tidally locked to my G-type star in motion. I have a permanent day side that's likely home to a magma ocean. I am TOI 561b, one of the oldest rocky planets discovered you'll see. TOI 561b, I am an exoplanet in the Milky Way galaxy. TOI 561b, also known as Super Earth, soon you'll also agree. I am TOI 561b, my surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity. We are the Earth and the Moon And you will learn really soon You can fit the planets in our solar system Between us, this is true We are the Earth and the Moon We meant to tell you for a while The average distance between us We will explain to you with a smile The average distance between the Earth and the Moon is 382,500 kilometers Here's the other seven planets fit between us explaining who they are with some cool features I am Mercury, the first planet from the Sun I'm the second hottest planet on my run My average diameter we do know is 4,879 kilometers Add these up as they are shown I am Venus, the hottest planet And the second from the Sun I have an average diameter of 12,104 kilometers in the solar system. Hi, I am Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. You should know. I have an average diameter of 6,771 kilometers as I did show. My name is Jupiter, the largest planet in from the sun. I'm number diameter is 139,822 kilometers as I thrive. I'm the planet with the prominent rings, the sixth one called Saturn. My average diameter is 116,464 kilometers while I turn. I am Uranus. I am the seventh planet from the solar system's sun. I have an average diameter of 50,724 kilometers. I'm a frozen one. I am Neptune. 
Neptune, the eighth and last planet in the solar system, as far as we know. I have an average diameter of 49,244 kilometers. I'm blue as shown. Our total planet diameter size when added up is 380,008 kilometers we share. We still have 2,492 kilometers of space to spare. We are the Earth and the Moon. And you will learn really soon. You could fit the planets in our solar system between us. This is true. We are the Earth and the Moon. We meant to tell you for a while the average distance between us we will explain to you with a smile Designations 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin. Now let's begin. An extreme trans Neptunian object in a sedoid in the outer solar system is what I am. I can't avoid. I was nicknamed the Goblin because of the TG in my name and because I was discovered near Halloween in 2015. October 2015 was when I was discovered by astronomers at the MKO is how I was uncovered. My discovery was made by Chad Trujillo, David Tholin, and Scott Shepard, you know. I was discovered using the Subaru telescope they also probed with the Blanco 4M telescope looking out from the globe. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua is my official name. I have trouble saying it too. I never come within 80 astronomical units to the sun and I get as far as 2300 AU from the sun on my run. You think a year on Earth is long? Well, mine is longer. I admit 35,760 is one year in my orbit. I have a very elongated orbit along with Sedna on my trek. Astronomers believe this orbit exists because of hypothetical planet X. I never come Near the major outer planets, astronomers have checked 541,132. Lalia Kuanua, that's my name, it is true. My provisional designation's 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin, now let's begin. There's probably 10,000 small dwarf like planets in our outer solar system beyond Pluto. Now, isn't that fun? These dwarf like planets are very small, that makes them hard to uncover. With technology improving, you could be the one to discover. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua, that's my name, it is true. My provisional designation's 2015 TG3. I'm nicknamed the Goblin, now let's begin! My name is J1407B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star and we can all agree Its name is V1400 Centauri In 2012 when I was discovered by Eric Mamajek At the University of Rochester I earned the name of Super Saturn Because of my massive system of circumplanetary rings for sure 90 million kilometers is the radius of my rings That's about 200 times the size of Saturn's rings Which makes me the king When I orbit my sun it takes about a decade Which is estimated at about 3,720 25 days 
I'm within the constellation of Centaurus. It's about 434 light years from the Earth, but I don't fuss. No one knows if I'm a gas giant or a brown dwarf with rings. I'm sure you'll find out more about me while I do my thing. There's a gap in my rings, which probably means one thing. It may have been made by an exomoon of mine about this I do sing. I also have another name when I show you, you will see. It is 1S Wasp, J147B. My name is J1407B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star and we can all agree Its name is V1400 Centauri My name is J1407B, that's me I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see I orbit a young star and we can all agree Its name is V1400 Centauri Oh, Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. In the month of April in 2015 is when I was noticed by Hubble's Whitefield Camera 3. The Southwest Research Institute led by Mark Boo. Scientists in the world to ever notice me. I'm very hard to see because I'm in the Kuiper Belt and my charcoal colored surface certainly doesn't help. As 20, 15, 13, 64, 72, 1 is what I was provisionally designated, but not much fun. They officially nicknamed me with the name MK2. I'll tell you more about me after the chorus you'll hear. Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. It's estimated my diameter is 100 miles across. That's an estimate only from a bunch of astronomers. I'm 1300 times more faint than dwarf Maki Maki. When a telescope gets closer, they will see me more clearly. I'm 13,000 miles from my door planet, so bright. And I'm called a moon because I'm a natural satellite. Maki Maki had what scientists thought were dark warm spots. Now they think it was me making those warm dots. I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. I'm Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon. I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B Discovered in 1995 at Oak Province Observatory I'm an extrasolar planet named 51 Pegasi B Exoplanet orbiting a main sequence star. 51 Pegasi is my star's name. I know it sounds bizarre. I'm the prototype for a class of planets called Hot Jupiters. I'm 1850 degrees Fahrenheit measured by a 
astronomers. I was first discovered in the year of 1995 at the Hope Province Observatory with their eye tip towards the sky. The astronomers who discovered me, I will tell you in this song. They are Michelle Mayer and Didier Quillos. They are headstrong. My discovery had won these men a Nobel Prize in Physics. There was nothing to be said about them by their critics. My Jupiter mass is a round point four six. That's my unit of mass equal to the total mass of Jupiter, the planet. I'm located 50 light years from the constellation. Pegasus You need a very large telescope to see me This you can trust In 2015 the IAU announced my chosen name Without a laugh They named me Dimidium Which is an adverb meaning by half Dimidium is my name because my mass is almost half of Jupiter's. Since my discovery, lots of exoplanets have been discovered. I am much closer to my star than Mercury is to your sun. That is why I'm so hot. Yeah. Well, I am spun. My orbital speed is in miles per hour, 304,000. Now that's a lot of great power. I am thought to be tidally locked to my host star. Much like the moon is to your Earth, but not as far. I'm an extrasolar planet. Named 51 Pegasi B Discovered in 1995 At Oak Province Observatory I'm an extrasolar planet Named 51 Pegasi B I am formally named Dimidium Yeah, that is me Here's a theory of how the Earth was formed So scientists would say This interstellar journey will show you The role gravity had played Almost 5 billion years ago There was only our sun Which was a newborn star Surrounded by dust was how it begun Over time this dust began to slam Into one another Due to gravity pulling it in As it smashed into each other The planet that we live on was made by space dust and rocks that formed earth over millions of years into an orb not a box they say four and a half billion years ago earth was a fireball that's right with surface temperatures over 2000 degrees and fahrenheit at this point there was no air just carbon dioxide nitrogen and water vapor making it hot and toxic when the earth began our boiling ball of liquid rock was slammed by a young planet this planet's name was Thea, it was the size of Mars as you see it. The blast wave from this collision sent trillions of tons of debris, which over time was pulled back in to circle the Earth by gravity. This giant ring around the Earth was made of red hot dust and rock, eventually formed our moon we see today, I know it's a shock. Let's speed up millions of years to see how water formed about three Inside each meteor, scientists think there were small crystals. Each crystal held tiny droplets of water inside their shells. Over the 20 million years that these meteors fell, pools of water started to form on the cooling crust. I do tell, all water on our Earth is billions.
millions of years old now you see and may have traveled millions of miles to be consumed by you and me let's meet up hundreds of millions of years to find the earth covered in water with tiny islands peeking out while the core remain much hotter this hot core pushes molten rock up and out the earth's new crust when the lava cools it forms the land we know as it builds and thrusts over time these land masses start to collide and eventually form our continents we know today do still transform here's a theory of how the earth was formed so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played how did earth get its atmosphere we have today there are three basic atmospheric hypothesis still used to this day the first atmosphere was made up of hydrogen and helium gas these molecules move so fast they escape earth's gravity into space at last the second was made of lots of volcanoes releasing water as steam and carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfate ammonia and methane science agreed the third and current atmosphere is made up of this you will see plants taking carbon dioxide and give up oxygen to you CO2. Also volcanoes and burning stuff produces this like fossil fuels. We burn too many fossil fuels and have too many factory farms. All this carbon dioxide we produce is doing our earth harm. It's up to us to change the way we consume and create energy. If you start to make changes now our planet will change. You will see. Please do your part to save the earth to improve your future now. We're capable of change. Go So scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. You're so smart and important, so believe in what you can do. Make a change and set the stage in Earth's future for you. My name is 55, Can Cree, also known as Jensen. I'm a super Earth, you see. star named Copernicus. Here's what they know about me this far. I was discovered in the month of August on the 30th day in the year of 2004 I convey. I was nicknamed the diamond planet due to research that suggests I have a carbon rich composition underneath my surface. I was discovered by a female astronomer. She goes by the name of Barbara MacArthur. The detection method used by astronomers to find me is a method called radial velocity. My host star Copernicus or 55 Pincree is from Earth, a 40 light year trip away. My host star is a G type star similar to your sun. You know I'm 0.01544 AU from my star's glow. My name is 55 Cancree, also known as J. My host star named Copernicus Here's what they know about me this far My mass is about 8.08 .08, that of the Earth I take 0.7 days to complete one orbit of my star For what that's worth I belong to the constellation called Cancer Here is an example of what it looks like Of this I am sure In 2016 in the month of February NASA's Hubble telescope detected two gases on me those gases were hydrogen and helium with hints of hydrogen cyanide while well, it was on its run. I am tidally locked just like your moon. That means I have a dark side. You won't see it too soon. Silicates in my atmosphere would condense into clouds on my tidally locked dark side. I commence reflecting the lava from below so there would be in my dark skies that don't show My day side temperatures average about 4200 degrees That is in Fahrenheit, if you please There are more planets orbiting my host star We will visit those soon, keep it on your radar My name is 55, Cancree, also known as Jensen I'm a super Earth, you see I'm an exoplanet in the orbit of my host star named Caprini
a kiss Here's what they know about me this far We're Alpha Centauri, the closest star system To the solar system your Earth is from Alpha Centauri is a triple star system We're 4.37 light years away from your sun We're Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B Which forms a pair of stars called binary Alpha Centauri A officially Rigel Centaurus Alpha Centauri Centauri B officially Toliman I trust Centauri C officially Proxima Centauri Here we'll learn about our size and our luminosity Alpha Centauri A and B are sun-like stars We're the brightest stars in the constellation Centaurus by far Alpha Centauri A has 1.1 times the mass And 1.5 times the luminosity of the sun in this class Alpha Centauri B is smaller and cooler, you should know At 0.9 times the sun's mass and 0.4 the luminosity shown We orbit around a common center or around one another So you'd understand better With an orbital period of almost 80 years by far And from a distance we're so close we look like one star I'm Proxima Centauri, a small and faint red dwarf star You cannot see me with the naked I, though I'm the closest star by far I'm about 4.24 light years from the earth And I'm the closest star to the sun for what that is worth Discovered in 1915 by astronomer Robert Eins, I'm sure In South Africa at the Union Observatory in Johannesburg My Latin name Proxima Centauri means when this is defined The nearest star of Centaurus, that's all that's assigned We're Alpha Centauri, the closest the star system to the solar system your Earth is from. Alpha Centauri is a triple star system. We're 4.37 light years away from your sun. We're Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, which forms a pair of stars called binary. Alpha Centauri A officially Rigel Centaurus. Alpha Centauri B officially Toliman I. Centauri C, officially Proxima Centauri Here we'll learn about our size and our luminosity I am an exoplanet, my name is Kepler 1649C I orbit a red dwarf, Kepler 1649 you now see exoplanets orbit outside your solar system that's where i hide i am similar to earth i'm spun find out more when this song is done i was discovered in april 2020 the year by the kepler space telescope and so we are clear Jeff Coughlin The director of S-E-T-I Said I'm similar to planet Earth Found so far by the space telescope Kepler at large I'm about 300 light years from your Earth in the constellation of Cygnus for what that's worth I'm identified as a rocky planet by NASA my radius is 1.6 times that of Earth I know that you're in awe I take 19.5 Earth days to orbit my host star Kepler 1649 is its name The Red Dwarf in charge I am in the habitable zone of my red dwarf star so far this
this is known Due to the lack of information on my atmosphere It is unclear If I can sustain liquid water On my surface around my sphere I am an exoplanet My name is Kepler 1649C I orbit a red dwarf Kepler 1649 You now see Exoplanets orbit outside Your solar system That's where I hide I am similar to Earth I'm spun Find out more when the song is done I am an exoplanet My name is Kepler 1649C I orbit a red dwarf Kepler 1649 You now see Exoplanets orbit outside Your solar system That's where I hide I am similar to Earth I'm spun Find out more when song is done My name is TOI 700 an exoplanet outside the solar system I be My name is TOI 700D 101.4 light years away from Earth Let's learn about me I was discovered in January In the year of 2020 By Emily Gilbert While studying astronomy I'm an exoplanet 101.4 light years away from Earth in the Dorado constellation, that's where I play. I'm the first Earth-sized planet orbiting my host star, TOI 700, a red dwarf, we know this so far. I orbit my star in its habitable zone, maybe there's a presence of liquid water on my surface shown. My star is 40% the mass of your sun and 55% of its temperature. These facts are so fun I'm one of three exoplanets detected by test To be orbiting the host star TOI 700 We don't rest Our names are TOI 700 B and C And TOI 700 D You guessed it, that is me All three exoplanets may be tidally locked I do sing Which means the same faces towards the object we are orbiting I was discovered by test to see planets out of sight Called the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite Test was designed and launched specifically To find Earth-sized planets orbiting nearby stars like me Scientists confirmed the find called TOI 700D With NASA Spitzer Space Telescope independently TOI is short for Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite object of interest, it's so long to say NASA's on the hunt for more Earth-sized planets But for now you have me, I'm sure there's more or to find yet You could become an astronomer A job that's out of this world You can be anything you want Whether you're a boy or a girl My name is TOI 700 an exoplanet outside the solar system I be My name is TOI 700D 101.4 light years away from Earth Let's learn about me 